Well, the first thing that happens when we get to Mars is that um, the spacecraft has got to complete what's called Mars orbit insertion. And so we end up in a highly elliptical orbit around Mars. And for the next, uh, for the next eight to nine months, the spacecraft will use the atmosphere of Mars to, to slow it down and bring the spacecraft into a circular orbit about 400 kilometers above the surface. Once that happens, then Cassis will start taking uh, images, its, its real targets of the surface. Uh, we'll do a few images before that because you know we all like pretty pictures, right? But its real science business will begin when we get into this 400 kilometer orbit. We have a database that's already been set up with some help from the University of Arizona. And uh, we'll, we'll be feeding targets into this database. It's actually hoped that we'll be able to open this database to the public so that the public will be able to select targets as well. We need at least 10,000 targets, believe it or not. Uh, so it's a lot. Um, but then we are able to, to choose, depending upon where the orbit is, at any one particular time, we'll be able to pick from these targets and then say, OK, on this orbit, let's call it orbit 1200, we will take an observation of the top of Olympus Mons. Okay? We then program that up and send that information uh, to Madrid. Madrid puts that into spacecraft commands and it goes up to the spacecraft and your image gets taken. And that's how the targeting actually takes place. Well, the data is transmitted down to ground. We get the data, um, the, the raw telemetry comes here to bear. And then we have to convert that telemetry into proper images. Um, so we, we have a, some, a number of codes that, that allow us to do that. We have a little pipeline to do that. And then uh, we have to use the data that we've acquired in the lab and during test to calibrate that data, so remove all of the instrument defects out of the data. And then, effectively, we are ready to do science with that data. Our hope is that if everything goes well, we'll be able to put that data, to make it available to the public, within about three months. The data does have to be processed uh, because of the way that the images are acquired. Um, the data has to be sort of stitched together. We, we actually take little individual images of, of the target site going across the target site. We have to stitch those together. That's not so straightforward. And so there's a couple of parts of the process that are still not completely clear to us yet about how to, how to do them in the best possible way. Um, uh, but we're hoping, at least, that by the time we get into routine, when things become routine, that we'll be able to push the data out pretty quickly.